In lesson seven, you learn how to extract the data, how to use the pre-created queries, and also how to customize the queries. Last, we will learn how to export the data. The 2020 PL summary file shell has the relationship between the tables needed for extracting the data already established for you. In addition, there are three example queries, one for blocks, one for counties, and one for county subdivisions. To check these relationships are indeed established, click on the Database Tools menu and then Relationships button. If the relationships don't show right away, click the All Relationships button. You should see tables with connections showing by black lines between the common fields. So let's bring the geo header to the center to make it easier for you to see that every segment is connected to the geo header. So the relationships are established here. Now, to pull the data from the database you just built is necessary to construct a query. The Microsoft Access database shell has those three example queries already built in for you. The first pulls block data from data segment 1. The second pulls county data from data segment 2. The third pulls county subdivision data for data segment 3. To modify one of these queries, right-click on the query and select Design View. Here, you can change the summary level, SumLab, that's the abbreviation we use, to change the geography or any additional data fields you want to see in the final extractable table, so your final result. This example will look at the block query. In the design view window, you see the tables in the area at the top and then the selected field from those tables in the fields below. To add fields to the query, Double-click the desired field in the table in the top window. As you can see by clicking on the asterisk, segment 3 is now showing on the table viewer. In this query, we selected the block level data by selecting the summary file field SumLab from the geo header and then setting its value to 750, the code for blocks. This is how we set the query for you. These summary level codes or geography codes can be pulled from the summary level sequence chart in the technical documentation, which I demonstrated to you in lesson four. So if you go back to the resources on the redistricting data program management page, you'll find a list of codes and you can change them here. 750 is the block level. For instance, if I would like to see this query produce data for the track level, I can check the Frequently Used Geographic Summary Level Codes document and switch the criteria to code 140. To view the results of our constructed query, we click the View button located right on the top left of Microsoft Access. You should now see the table with all the fields you added in the design view process. For this example, we only add one field from segment three. We did not change the geography code. But now if you look through the table, they were created for segment one, which is file one. That would include tables P1 and P2. So you can see here we have all the P1 data and next the P2 data being populated here. And we added segment three, which is the group quarters from P5 table, and you see it towards the end. You can now save and close your query for future use, or you can go back into design view to adjust any fields and summary levels, geographies that you like to extract. Before we learn how to export this table, let's work on example two. 
This is a great opportunity for you to follow along by pausing the video for every step and working at your own pace. First, I'm going to close my example for query 1 for blocks. And I'm not going to save for the purpose of this tutorial. I am back to the design view. Start by selecting the example query data segment 2 counties and select design view. If you do not wish to customize a query, you don't have to go to design view. You can simply click on open and view your query result. In this case, we're going to go back to design view so you can practice this part of the steps. Design view. And for this query, let's add again segment 3. So in the relationship screen, let's click on asterisk on segment 3, double click, and again, it is included as part of your query. Now, the next step is to view your query. So on the top left corner, click on the View button. Now you're visualizing your query for the county in the state that you download data for. In this case, I'm using Providence County in Rhode Island. We'll see data for Table 3, Table 4, and Table P5 from Data Segment 3. Next, we're going to work on Query 3. Now, I'm going to close the example query. If you do wish to save your new customized query, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to save because I will be demonstrating how to change the summary level or geography for your next query. I'm going to use the example query data segment 3. Please follow along in every step by pausing your video. Click on query data segment 3 for county subdivisions. Right click and then click on design view. On the query viewer on the bottom, Go to the sum lab column, which is the first column. The field is called sum lab summary level. And for criteria, change to 140. Let's look at track level data for this query instead of county subdivision. Once you have made the change, we can now click on view again on the top left corner to see the result. I'm no longer getting results for some level 060, which is county subdivision. Our results now are showing for tracks 140 for the state of Rhode Island. The next step now is to learn how to export these results into a table format in Excel. So let's right click on the name of the query and then select export. And this will provide many format options for your exported table. But remember that some formats may not be compatible with the size of the table that you are exporting. If you selected a lot of geographies or if you have a lot of columns. For this example, we're going to click in Excel. Click and browse to select where you wanted to save this file. I'm going to use the download folder again and then click Save. My format will be the Excel workbook and I will select export data with formatting and layout. I will also select open the destination file after the export operation is complete because I do want it to see my file. Now click OK. And here is your exported query into a table format for you to start analyzing your data. In the next lesson, I will share with you some tips and tricks on how to set up your table for analysis.